Um, Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are from Department of Mechanical Engineering from Protein di Kota Kinabalu. Under the course DJJ3012 Computer Aided Design, uh, we want to present our mini project presentation which is washing machine. The lecturer of our courses is Sir Ahmad Afiq bin Tarmizi alias Ghazali. Uh, let me introduce a little bit. Uh, let me introduce our group member. Me, there are not Abdul Razak, Clifford Nigel, Christopher, Samizi Shahiran bin Sali, and the last one is Mohammed Shazmi bin Ismail. Okay, let me talk a little bit introduction about AutoCAD. AutoCAD is the use of computer-based software to assist in design process is known as CAD. CAD, Computer Aided Design. Different types of engineers and designers regularly utilize CAD software. Two-dimensional drawings and three-dimensional models can be both created with CAD software. The goal of CAD is to improve the designer's workflow, boost productivity, improve design quality, and amount of detail, improve documentation, communications, and often contribute to a man manufacturing design database. The output of CAD software is in form is in the form of computer files, which are then used in manufacturing process. A lot of the time, CAD is utilized in conjunction with computer computerized make, make manufacturing processes. CAD or CAM, computer aided design or computer aided manufacturing software, is used to design goods like computer circuit boards and other electrical device. Next, let me talk a little bit about Autodesk Inventor. Autodesk Inventor is an, an engineering design software developed by Autodesk. Inventor is similar to AutoCAD, another Autodesk software, in that both, in that both create precise 2D and 3D models. However, this software has different terminology and workflows that makes the transition tricky when first navigating Inventor if you are, use, you are, if you are used to using AutoCAD or SolidWorks. Unlike the other 3D system you may have used in the past, Autodesk Inventor is a parametric feature-based system that allows you to create 3D parts, assemblies, and throw 3D drawing. Parametric modeling is a bit different from modeling in AutoCAD, which is object-driven in a parametric modeler. Everything is controlled by either parameters, dimensions, or relationships. For example, if you want the position if you want to move the position of a hole in a block, you will change the, the dimension or relationship that controls its position in a parametric system. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sami Shahir Bin Sali from the Cam 3A. I will ex explain about the description of the writing part. The first part of the washing machine, which is the knob. The knob will to adjust the temperature in the washing machine. As shown in the drawing section, the width of the knob shown is 20 diameter and the height is 15 diameters. The next part of the washing machine is the bottom cover. The bottom cover is used for the bottom of the washing machine. The upper length measurement on the front view is 285mm and the bottom 300mm. Having a height of only 15mm, at the top view can be seen the bottom cover as a width of 85 mm. Through the top view it can be seen that this part has a curve at a of 15 inches. The third part for the washing machine is the button. The button is located on the indicator and is used to start or stop the machine. On an isometric view it can be seen the button as the same shape as the cuboid. The top view shows the button as a length of 9mm and width of 7mm. This part of the button has a height of 15mm as shown in the front view. The fourth part is the coin insertion. It works to insert a coin to start the washing machine. The isometric view saw the overall shape of the coin insert. On top view can be seen 23.73mm, overall height and 18.53 on the inside. Its width is 5.59 mm overall and 1.81 wide on the inside. On the front view, it is clearly seen that its height is 15 mm. Its view of the width of the coin insert measuring 23.73 mm. The five part is the door. It is the main structure for the door. The glass door is included to complete the door. The isometric view of the door is a shape similar to that of a bracelet. 
as in the front view can be seen the full size of the dot section with detail. 318 diameter is the size of a circle and as a height of 30 mm and a width of 15 mm. The seat part is drainage. Located at the bottom of the washing machine is also similar to the bottom cover. In the top you saw 185mm white top and 200mm white bottom and eye. 15mm left and right with radius 15. Side view 70mm height and 85mm white top and bottom respectively. And the, and the top view can be seen measurement in the drain. 15mm height its width is 63.1mm and 70mm at the top and bottom respectively. The seventh part is the front body, the front body for the washing machine. It is the latch part of, of the washing machine. I will continue to the front view. Its width is 500mm, its corner as a radius of 20. The center, center circle as a radius of 179.3. Side view 550 is the height zone. 50mm and 35mm are its width at the top and bottom respectively. The top view clearly saw 50mm height. Hello, my name is Oisad Mirbin Ismail. I'm from the MTIA. So, in this video, I'm going to present about the part of the washing machine and its function. The first part is the indicator. Indicator is a place to insert the detergent, coin, and button for the washing machine. The curve side of the indicator is 10 radius. The circle on the indicator is 20 mm. The side of the indicator is 61.33 mm and the circular side of the indicator is 179.3 radius. The second part is glass door. It is used as the door for the washing machine. The glass door has five layer. The first layer is 335 diameter. The second layer is 350 diameter. The third layer is 380 diameter. The fourth layer is 391.97 diameter. And the last layer is 401.29 diameter. The third part is glass support. The function of the glass support is to support the glass door. The glass support has a thickness of 20 millimeter, and it is uh, two layer. The first layer is 350 diameter. The second layer is 360 diameter. The next part is screen. The function of screen is to show the numbering on the washing machine and to stop or start the washing machine. The circular side of the screen is 10 radius. The screen has a 16.51 mm height and 41 and 43 mm length and the start and stop button has a 13 mm length and 4 mm height. The next part is soap. Soap is a place to put the detergent for the washing process. The inside part of the soap where to put the detergent has the layer. The first layer of length is 97.45 mm. The second layer is 112 mm. The height of the inside part is 75.5 mm and the second layer is 57.27 mm. The front part has a thickness of 20 mm and the length of the front part is 170 mm. The next part is top cover. Top cover is located on the top of the washing machine and function as the top cover. The thickness of top cover is 20 mm. It has two layers. The first layer of length is 500 mm and the second layer is 460. The height is 550 mm of the first layer and the second layer is 510 mm. The next part is tube. The tube is located inside the washing machine body. The tube has a serration around its shed. The distance between the serration is 60.78 mm. The diameter inside the tube is 270 mm. The circulation outside the tube is 165 radius and it has a 400 mm height. The last part is washing machine body, the main structure of the, this washing machine. As we know, the height of this washing machine is 550 mm. The length of the washing machine is 500 mm and the screen is 350 mm. Hi, my name is Clifford Nigel Christopher from DKM3A. 
and my matrix number is 07DKM20F1013. So, now, I'm going to continue our presentation. In this mini project, we have created a washing machine model. We have created 15 parts and assembly it together until this is formed. This is the assembly drawing of our washing machine model. In assembly, we use constraint and insert to combine all the parts at the right position. Constraint is used to stick or combine the parts together. And insert is used to insert parts into a hole. When we when we want to assembly project, we must know how to make it to combine together. We must play with our drawing so that we can easily combine it smoothly and next this is our exploded drawing exploded view is when all parts are pulled out from the main shape to show that the part is used in the project in exploded view, we pull the parts away from each other to show where where all the parts are placed. And here is a short video of our assembly drawing. As we can see in this video, all parts are being pulled away and reinserted into its original place, either to the top, bottom, left or right. By exploding all the part, it is easier to make numbering on each part to create part list. As we can see in the slide, all parts are, are being numbered and here is the part list of the part that we have created and used in our mini project. Exploded drawing is created to make it easier to create numbering on each part to create at least this is because all the parts can be seen in exploded view and that is all from me thank you very much last the conclusion from our mini project is to conclude this mini project the objective has been achieved as well as the fluently use of autodesk inventor software there are many things that we learn about the process in building this washing machine, such as how to assemble the part, how to make it in exploded view, using drawing, sketch in 2D and 3D objects, and others. We hope our knowledge in operating the Autodesk Inventor software can help us find a job in our specialty, and we also can learn more new things about the use of Inventor to create new projects in the future. That's all from us. Thank you.